Welcome to this week's episode of Teachers Off-Duty Podcast. Today, we're going to be sharing some of the craziest birthday stories that we have and stories that people have sent in to us. So enjoy the show. Welcome to Teachers Off Duty Podcast. Over to my right, we have the wonderful Diana. Diana, go ahead and tell them all about you. Who are you? Oh my gosh. Okay, great. Thank you so much for having me. My name is Diana Smith, and I am a former teacher, educator, um, and I work with teachers and schools really all across the country on culturally responsive teaching and other equity work. And I'm really excited to sit down and chat with y'all. Not a little only bit today. I was gonna say, Doctor Diana Smith. Smith. Yes, technically, Doctor Diana Smith. Take Thank that. you. It's you <laughs> worked for it. It's incredible. Thank we you. asked her if she wanted to be full time on staff because. Because uh, Tal gets sick a lot, I do. Yes, and I yes. said, "Oh, you're a doctor," <laughs> and then she said, "No, I'm not that kind of yeah, doctor." Yeah, no medical. Please, please don't pass out on my watch. I cannot help you. <laughs> I did save a life doing CPR one time, but you really, know, uh, yeah, it's just a whole. So other you're story. like an honorary doctor. So I'm an honor- exactly. Doctor. Yeah, yeah, I got a little certificate and everything. Oh, so. doctor by association is different, isn't it? Like, uh, like Taylor Swift's an honorary. No, doctor. I said this is true. So she's a real doctor. Honorary M. But she's an honorary doctor. I'm an doctor. honorary MD, MD doctor. Oh. Yeah, I just made it up. Doctor, you know. What? Congratulations on your teacher off duty MD certificate. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god. The this University is a big of Off Duty. It's like a knighting thing. Yes. Like you have been officially knighted. Perfect. Yeah. Diana, not only is she a doctor, she's also one of the sweetest people in the world. Yeah. You're a very oh, kind individual. Thank you. She's so wow. sweet. Oh, I love you. talking to Diana. Yeah. So we're gonna be talking about birthdays today. Yay. Birthdays are wild. Guess whose birthday's coming up soon? Hey, My this birthday. guy. Yes. Hey. January. Actually, by the time this comes out, it will have already been your birthday. But like while we're filming it right now, it's almost, it's, it's almost, it's almost your, birthday. Jan- your birthday. January 23rd, 1998. Like, wait, you're going to be like 70, right? Uh, close. Uh, turn 25. So 25. Okay, I, was yeah. I was close. I was close. I'm I'm like halfway between 20 and 30 now, in case you didn't know that. math. Yeah, that's how the math <laughs> works. Um, it's I remember, strange. I remember feeling like that when I was like, oh no, 25. All I only have five here. more years in my 20s. And now was, I'm like way past that. Was it the poet um, Britney Spears that said, I'm it not was. a girl? Not, not yet, yet a woman. woman. Yeah. You're not a boy, but not yet. Not yet a man. Not yet a man. <laughs> I remember in college, whenever I'd listen to Blink-182, and they're like, no one likes you like when you're 23. And I was like, can't wait to turn 23 so I can sing that song. And now I'm turning 25. Yikes. I'm like, oh, jeez. What there... song can you sing when you're 25? Maybe we should write the song. That's me a birthday gift to you. Okay, oh, tell we'll write the song. Someone write you're that down. You're 25 and someone tells you they love. I guess I just stole Taylor Swift's song, but you know what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pre-K Pause listeners, it's Mr. Williams here, and this episode of Teachers Off Duty is sponsored by BetterHelp. Listen, we know as educators, teaching can be physically exhausting, but it can also start to do a number on our mental health as well. As both an educator and as someone finishing grad school to become a licensed therapist, I can honestly say when I started therapy, I saw a big difference in myself. I was making the moves and the things I needed to do to become that person I've always wanted to be. Seeing a therapist and talking to them about our unique experiences as educators, but also getting that validation has been a big game changer. This is why I go to my therapy sessions every Tuesday morning before starting my day. And if you're thinking about giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great option. Not only is it convenient, but it's affordable and offered entirely online. We have busy, hectic schedules as teachers, and listen, the pay isn't always great, so it's amazing to find a mental health service that's willing to meet us where we're at. All you need to do if you want to get started is fill out a brief questionnaire and you'll get matched with a licensed therapist. And don't worry if you don't feel like you're jiving with them right away. That's totally fine. You can switch to different therapists at any time for no additional charge. If you want to live a life that is more empowering, therapy can definitely help you get there. Visit BetterHelp.com TOD today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash T-O-D. So, so do you guys have any crazy teaching stories about birthdays? Have you ever had any crazy experiences in the classroom on birthdays? 
Yeah, I, I feel, feel like, like Tell has the craziest say, experiences right of tell everyone. That one. Well, I feel like when you're younger, the birthday parties are bigger. And yes. then as you get older, they kind of like, um, so preschool is like the first time the parents get to have this like school birthday. Oh. So you have one of two things happen. You either have the parents who are super involved and come in for that, or they it's like the first time sending stuff in. Mm-hmm. But at Head Start, you don't do And I've said this, I'm going to say this like every episode. You don't send food in at Head Start. You can't. Um, and so I remember having a parent. Uh, the kid comes on and I know it's his birthday and usually we do we do something for the birthday, mm-hmm. right? The parents can bring stickers or goodie bags or whatever. Um, and so I just assume this kid's bag is full of goodie stuff and I'll get it later. Mom calls in a panic and she's like, I, I, I don't know where the cake is. I'm like, what? And she's like, I don't know where the cake is. I'm like, oh, no, 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 it's fine. We don't do, we, we don't have cake at the school. Like, it's, remember, it's just goodie bags and stuff. She's like, no, I bought a birthday cake. I don't know where it is. And I was like, why is she calling the school? I go in there. The kid had taken his birthday cake that they were supposed to be eating that evening, no. put it in the book bag. Yes. Oh. And so it's like... Wait, 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 wait. In the box or just the oh, no, cake? No, no, no. Good question. This is the funny part. It's in the box. Okay. You know the things where it's like, uh, you want like an extra piece of cake, but you have to like uh, uh, unlift this rock that's super loud yeah. in the middle of the night? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. one of the yep. kind of <laughs> things. Huh. And it's like, I don't know how, because those things are impossible to get off unless you like don't want them to come off. And so it's in his book bag half open-ish, yep. completely on the side. No. The mom was devastated. And Wait, these are, what was what was the cake? I need to know. Oh, this is it was. What was the, the green ones? I always say it wrong. I don't the wanna, green I don't, ones? Our producers love um, uh, Power Rangers. I always say Ninja Turtles. Oh. Ninja oh. Turtles, oh. Oh. Say, That's green. where you were going with the I, I, green yeah. ones. I, was, I, was the green okay, one. I don't know yeah. I was going I was there. Like, <laughs> when you said the, the green ones, right. my mind went to Ninja Turtles, but then you said, I don't want to say it wrong. So I'm like, Ninja Turtles is easy to I say. say. I, I don't say Ninja <laughs> Rangers. It's <laughs> not Ninja, Ninja Turtles. Ranger. I say Ninja, yes, Ninja no. and I know that's Ninja. not right. That's the off-brand Ninja Turtles. I was like getting nervous. I was like, <laughs> Straight to the It's a great value. <laughs> the great. Like, the Teenage just, Mutant Ninja Rangers. Ninja Rangers. And, the they're, and they're, like, they're actually not turtles at all. They're frogs <laughs> 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 with shells on them. <laughs> It, but it was like so it's there and I and I feel, and I felt mm. horrible and also like I was a head start kid you, like it's a low it's a low income mm-hmm. and so they're devastated and I was like oh yeah, my gosh and you so, know they spent a lot of money I on know that cake. they did cake. and I thank God it wasn't a personalized cake like it wasn't one that they had made it was one that they picked up and so I went to Martin shout out to Martin's it was like our local grocery and I found a very similar cake and I got that and I told Aww. them I was like if you come because I felt horrible and I also thought like even though it wasn't your fault not, yeah. but I also like, thought too, but that was I very checked, nice of you yeah how did the kid get, my thing is like how did he like sit on the school bus because they, they have the the seatbelt so I, I can just imagine he's like this <laughs> yeah. with the whole thing he was, there. he was being a ninja yeah. turtle uh, wow. yeah. with the dome on his back <laughs> yeah <laughs> boom <laughs> that's why he did it but no I think that was you think like that cake box is as big as like us yeah. so like on a tiny little yeah. three or four year old that it literally would be a turtle shell yeah, yeah. it was he knew so what he was funny. doing oh my gosh I was like honey did you take the cake and he's like yeah no. okay we don't do that we're not so i'm like thinking you guys myself, still eat it oh no we're not supposed to eat any of it so i can't they even felt worse but did like, you eat it yeah yes no. <laughs> <laughs> i did you, like the icing off yeah. the backpack yeah. Yeah. i was like i was like eating it with like the lint and like sand at the bottom of it that you have to in confiscate there. your book bag for the right. day so sorry, sorry. Buddy. just like half handfuls of ninja oh, yes. turtles i was uh talking with one of my teacher friends about if they had any crazy birthday stories and uh, about you know in the classroom and he was like actually i do i'm like oh i actually want to hear what this is and he had told me that one time uh, a mom brought in they made brownies brought brownies for for everybody and they started dishing out the brownies and putting on all the kids like little napkins and then as he kept dishing it out he saw bugs inside <gasps> seriously they oh, were man. they were mm. bugs and there were ants like ants were crawling inside of it and when he had saw that there were ants he started looking at the other kids and saw they were already eating no. ants no. so he shut that down right away I don't Listen, know what I'd do in that situation I I'd panic I don't have this rule for that reason but now I do <laughs> yeah. like yes. the nobody eats until everyone has a snack <laughs> there we like go. Uh. manners okay if everyone hasn't gotten their food yet you don't eat That's. I mean that's just how mm-hmm. I was raised and like so in the classroom like when, when kids are passing out treats or whatever if i have bought them donuts in the morning right. okay wait until everyone gets what they have and then everyone can eat we'll mm. eat together yeah and now i love that rule for that reason because <laughs> i could have oh, been yeah. like wait yeah. now it's about checking for ants it's not about manners yeah no. it's not about <laughs> manners i don't care about Forget that. the manners what, what were the rules at, at your guys' schools where uh like did they allow birthday invitations to be sent out at the school this i know is, that's like always a this uh, is always a problem situation. so much drama yeah like yeah. okay especially like like 
in the upper elementary because there's still little kids. So they still have like a class birthday yeah. party, but they're in that time where they're starting to figure out who their real friends are and who they don't yeah. want to be friends with. I'll straight up tell them like if they're going to bring invitations to school, they have to give one to everyone in the class. If you don't want to invite everybody, you contact the parent or the kids, Correct. I love get that their yeah. contact information, and then you can invite on your own time. Yeah. Because you're just going to hurt people's feelings. Like, I, yeah. I don't know. I just feel like I don't want to be a part of that drama. And I don't. Right. And it's sad to see. Yeah. When yeah. a kid doesn't get an invitation. Because well, yeah. it's always like the why didn't they, right? Right. Like, yeah. like, we didn't really have that many parties growing up because we were too poor to invite 30 kids to this to home, you know? Right, but like right. as they get older, it's like, I feel like when you invite the entire class, if it's because you don't want Bob to come because he's bullying you, Bob's probably not going to show up anyways. Right. Yeah. And I think, well, why didn't, if Bob's not bullying you, you didn't invite him, like, what's wrong with Bob? Right. Like, that breaks my heart. Invite Bob, please. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. No. Like, okay. So, like, I don't know about you guys. I have a summer birthday. So oh. I never got to celebrate my birthday oh. in school. So I would always be super jealous of all the kids whose parents would like bring in like cupcakes or stuff like that. But like, my husband, his parents would like go all out. So on his birthday, and he has he has a summer birthday that's earlier than mine even. And on his like little half birthday thing, his parents would go and um, get McDonald's Happy Meals for every kid in oh, his class. Oh, they have money. Bougie, <laughs> bougie. <laughs> my my husband's family was. They weren't too far. Yeah, they yeah. were. They were doing well. Yeah. So they. <laughs> Yeah, they, they went and bought. <laughs> they were handing out Starburst. <laughs> Actually, they owned the McDonald's. Yeah. No. no, they did not. Um, but, <laughs> but yeah, they, he went, is they Ronald would go. McDonald. <laughs> I, I actually married Ronald McDonald. <laughs> Um, but they, yeah, they would go and buy all the kids Happy Meals and take it oh. to their class. And yeah, I'm like, well, you must have been the popular kid in class because right. my parents didn't have the money to buy every kid a Happy Meal either. <laughs> My uh, coworker, Megan Harris, shout out to you, Megan Harris. She was like, hey, we got to celebrate these kids' birthdays. It's a big deal to them. And mm -hmm. I re remember thinking, whatever, it's not a big deal. And I would see when we would keep celebrating these kids' birthdays, their faces would actually light up. And yeah. even middle schoolers yeah. still enjoyed that recognition. And they get a pencil and a sticker. And you would think at... 12, 13 years old, the boys would, would think, this is dumb, I don't want it. No, they get excited yeah. for it. Everyone loves a birthday love pencil. It. Listen, Everyone loves I, a birthday but pencil. I, I have to remember that too in fifth grade. Like you would think fifth graders are like, mm, I, they don't want to have mm -hmm. a school birthday anymore, but they're still little kids. Yeah. Any mm -hmm. any kid any is, like likes getting I, that recognition. Because it's the one day you can, it's your holiday. It's you your day. Yeah. Yeah. What, day what grade special. did you teach? Mostly fifth grade. Did so, you? Oh, yeah, same. Buddy. Did yeah, you guys exactly. have birth? Did you do birthdays? We did. So. I actually, when I first started teaching, when I moved to LA, I worked at a school where you weren't allowed mm. to, like there was no birthday recognition oh, allowed. Okay. Like you couldn't do anything. Then the second year I was there that actually changed. And like the birthday parties got progressively like more over the top. Like oh. in the every, classroom. Yes, in the classroom. So like it culminated <laughs> with one in April. Um, one of my students, it was her birthday. There was a full mariachi band. Whoa. There was a taco truck. Like it was, what? I mean, it's her family's taco truck, but it was like essentially yeah. she oh my threw goodness. the school. I want to go to this school. school. Yeah. Was, like, just for your class or everyone? It was just for, it was for all of the fifth graders. Okay, so come it on. was That's like a cool. whole thing. And, but see, it started off with like, okay, I'm going to bring in like tamales and I'm going to da 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 in September. But then it was like, everybody was like, oh, your birthday is about up. to be even trying better. trying to one up each exactly, other. Exactly, exactly. So imagine then, like bottle service girls. Like, who wants the Welch's July, sparkling right? grape? No, it's a full-on club. Happy like, birthday, it's a birthday club Billy. Yeah. yeah, it was, Capri it got like crazier and crazier. It was amazing. It was really funny though, because the families, you know, they hadn't been able to do it for so long. Yeah, so that's, that's when, it. Like, when we changed the rules, they were like, all right, bet. Like, we're going to turn it up. Especially in fifth grade, because they they did all those years and they're just like, Ah, did they decorate? I don't know why, but I imagine that they decorated the classroom. And yeah, and I'm problematic, so I let them. Like, of course, I'm like, yeah, like please, please come in. Like, I will cancel all the class. Like, yeah. we're not learning today. Right, we're just right. celebrating a birthday. It's like, you're okay with that. Yeah. Wait, how many students did you have? That year was 28. 
So they so lost 28 days of instruction. Yep, yep. yep. <laughs> oh my gosh. Somebody's yeah. gonna like go pull out my math scores funny, and be yeah. like, oh, that's what happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, well, I feel like when it, listen, when it is like food truck and a mariachi band, you don't get to just do that for like 25 minutes, 30 yeah. minutes, like snack right. time. That's a whole yeah. day. That's an all yeah, day, that was an thing. All day extravaganza. Yeah, that you can't get amazing. kids back after a mariachi oh, band. Oh my gosh. My no, school no. actually did that once. Well, no. In South Dakota. Yeah. What mariachi South- bands do you got in South Dakota? Oh my goodness. It went. Seriously, this is incredible. I remember this morning where we get the most random email from our principal, and he's usually on the ball, like, he's going to tell us if there's something that's going on. And we get that email right in the morning. He goes, oh, hey, guys, I forgot to tell you, by the way, uh, there's going to be a mariachi band in the cafeteria. (laughs) And I saw that, and I was thinking, get out of town. We have a mariachi (laughs) band coming. And they were awesome. Awesome. Yeah. They performed yeah. during all of <laughs> Listen, the lunches. Listen, mariachi bands are lit. Like, they're it so was good. so fun. Yeah. It was so much fun. Yeah. And I walked down to the cafeteria because I was thinking, like, what's this going to go like? Is this going to be entertaining? I yes. had a riot of a time. It was <laughs> so much fun. Oh, my god! It was the quietest the kids ever see, were. I could see you doing your little jigs. I, little little jigs. Jigs. No. I actually can salsa dance. <laughs> yeah. I, say I can mariachi. salsa dance. I took salsa dance lessons. Look at you, yeah. Gabe. Well-rounded I know, individual. That's right. <laughs> the, what? Oh, 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 oh. oh. So oh, yeah. lie, you know. Oh, oh, cool. um, you don't dance salsa to mariachi music, but I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm like shocked right now. Why? Yeah. What was the occasion? There wasn't. It was just a oh, random okay. day. That's even funner. Just being, oh yeah, yeah, we're just like, why not? It was yeah. so awesome. You know what? I had so much fun Honestly, that like, day. Maybe I'll have to take note. Like, yeah. if you're, yeah. look, go ahead and do that. Like, you have a stamp of approval. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. Yeah. Go for like, it. I don't care what kind of polka. I don't like. Yes. Bring them in. Bring them in. Maybe not polka. Maybe I don't want a polka dancer. No, I want polka. I'm just kidding. Do you have a memory of when you were? kid celebrating your birthday at school i actually had a fabulous like one particular birthday when i was a student so i i I think i've told you guys about this before so i'm from spokane washington so i was the only person of color in my entire elementary school like Hmm. there no other diversity just just little of me Um, (laughs) (laughs) and this is a sad story but it ends up happy so i would always bring lunch from home and the kids would always like like pick on me for the lunch that i was bringing because i I would bring like soul food and stuff like that to eat and everybody was always like super weird this is before like y'all now we have things like popeyes and like soul food is like a thing Mm -hmm. this was you know a long time ago, so I won't age myself, but a long time ago. So <laughs> it was a different time. Um, and so my mom, actually, what she did for my birthday was she got all of my aunties to like make a bunch of the food and they did like a little presentation Aww. and they talked about it and we had like pound cake, which is like a thing in black culture. And so it was like a really exciting time for me and my teachers allowed them to like come and take, Good. maybe that's why I allowed yeah. the mariachi take over later. <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah. I'm thinking about oh, you're that. Like, I remember that cool yeah, memory. Exactly. I love but that. it was great because yeah. And, the, and, you know, the kids, you know, they were kind of, you know, they were so rude sometimes, but it just gave them a different appreciation. Yeah. Yeah. And so it was like a really positive, yeah, a little birthday experience. Right. It was That's really awesome. fun. Yeah. I love that. I still got the birthdays of kids that were around my birthday yes. memorized. Mm. I still know. Do Mario, you really? May 8th. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I, I still, whenever it's leading up to my birthday, I'll see what the date is. Like, oh, that's Chance's birthday. I yes. remember that. Like, okay, happy birthday, dude. Not I. Not no. you. <laughs> uh, so I didn't celebrate. Not I don't know birthday. I don't know. It's is that weird? Because you look at yeah. the birthday chart. And you're yeah. Like, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. And then for oh. five years you celebrate the you yes. your same birthday. Yes. And then your birthdays don't change, and you remember the same people's birthdays. You just sparked a you sparked a memory. My one teacher, she would make a birthday book for each kid. Oh, that's on sweet. their birthday. Oh. Yes. So they would print out like there were pictures of it was like when it was like little elementary school uh-huh. pictures of a cake with like lines to write yeah. on and then they had candles you had to glue on how many candles the kid was and then um, she'd give one to each student and they would write something nice on the birthday cake and she'd put them together with some construction paper and it'd be like Lauren's birthday book Aww. and then Cute. like I found I remember my mom still has it it's in the yes. basement somewhere and I remember reading it because like you remember the, the kids at your school who were mean to you? Uh-huh. And, like, oh, yeah. I remember reading, like, the birthday things that they wrote on my on my thing. And it was, like, the fr- the ones that were nice to me would write, like, nice things and, mm-hmm. like, really long sentences for first graders. And then the other kids would just be, like, it's, it is your birthday. It is your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> it is your birthday. Yeah, it is your birthday. <laughs> yeah, it is your birthday. <laughs> That's really That's That's like, That point. is my one memory. <laughs> Oh, that's and they, sad. they still did it for you, even though yeah, they still did it for me, even though it wasn't my birthday. It mm. was you know some random day in 
I think February is my half birthday. I think that's so. Sweet. Yeah, that was nice. So like, I still struggle with that. And like teaching fifth grade, like I never know what to do yeah. for my kids. Like a lot of the kids that are in my class will bring in, like their parents will bring in donuts or like whatever treat. And um, I let them pick like two things out of the prize cabinet. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And then like we sing happy birthday and that's kind of it. And then like any like, jobs I have for that day yeah, or whatever they like they're like the special person yeah. and I'll be like it's your birthday you get to pick or yeah. you know so I do that to kind of make it special without making it awkward for them yeah it's, but it's hard it is and it's so important to, to keep the consistency yeah. in yeah. how you celebrate it because I've heard stories and seen some stuff where it would be a kid's birthday and oh we're gonna have the entire lunchroom sing to them and then you yeah. have another you, kid who, who might not be as much of an extrovert yeah. or right. quiet or not as many friends no one's singing happy birthday in yeah. lunchroom. That, like, makes that makes me, them feel bad. That I, makes uh, me think, of, okay, so that happened, not that exactly, but something similar happened this year. So one of my students, it was like coming up on his birthday and I, I was like, oh, your birthday is Thursday. And he was like, Oh, he's like, I don't care. I don't like my birthday. And like, I was like, Aww. oh, uh, like why? Like you're 10. And yeah. right. I'm like, you should still love your birthday right, for like right. at least another 20 years. Yeah, at least. <laughs> at least until you turn 30. So he was just being real like negative about it. And then his birthday came and that day, like he was trying to play it off like he didn't care, but like yeah. I was trying to like yeah. make a big yeah. deal about it. And he, you could see he was like happy. Yeah. But I think like, and this is just me speculating, but he didn't bring in any treats or anything right, like right, that. Right. So I'm thinking like, okay, maybe he doesn't like his birthday at school because you see all these other kids where their yeah. parents yeah. will have, yeah. you know, the money to bring in cupcakes or right. yeah. whatever. And you don't get to have that. Right. And mm -hmm. I, I could see not liking it and being kind of jealous about it. Yeah. And you like, you feel bad. Yeah. So, oh, for sure. So I tried to make it, you know, you a little special. Yeah. yeah. So he felt like, you know, you should still appreciate your birthday because yeah. it's your day. There's like little things like, I know it's controversial, but a lot of these, um, like the Dollar Trees and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. I would go there, and if it, if I knew from that family that it wasn't that they didn't want to do the birthday, but I, yeah. I had children that were like their families were Jehovah's Witness, so they just wouldn't celebrate it. Yeah. Um, but if I knew that it was something that they wanted to celebrate but couldn't, I would ask the parents, you know, hey, I I just have some extra goodie bags. I never had extra goodie bags. I would go yeah. grab them. We'll do something there, and then you know, it's also nice to sit there and be like, try to. Figure it out. And that's hard too sometimes when you're talking to, especially fifth grade's much different, right? My kids right. will tell me, we can't have goodie bags if we don't, mom can't buy them or daddy can't buy them or whoever. Yeah. And like you're also like, I don't want to step over boundaries. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's how I feel. You don't want them to feel bad. You don't yeah. want, want to make to feel them bad. feel bad for yeah. not Correct. being Nobody able wants to, to do feel that. like a charity. No. Yeah. Right. And that's why exactly. I always said, I have these extra things. I never did. Yeah. When kids see other kids, Doing, right. you know, getting this, this, yeah. or this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's also, it's such a good opportunity, too, for teachers to build relationships. Like, yeah. students that you have that are challenging or that you feel like you have a lot of negative interactions with, a birthday is a great, like, yeah. oh, fresh start, clean slate. It's like, you, you, you know, sometimes you don't get to, like, joke and laugh with those kids yes. because yeah. you feel like you're always, like, on, on them. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, but, like, a birthday, it's like, you can see them for, like, more than their behavior yeah. challenges. It's yeah. like, oh, you're, right. you're, you're also know, a human. You're just a little kid. Yeah. Like, let's mm -hmm. have some fun on your birthday. So. Exactly. I'm a big proponent of like figuring out ways to celebrate with kids. Yeah, I, I think I like it's it. important to celebrate the little things yeah. with yeah. kids because you never know who's actually celebrating things in that student's li life. Yes. Yeah. You, you yeah. don't know if they're going to- You gonna, could be the only one. You could be the Correct. only one. You right. seriously could, you could be, be the, the only, only one. one. When I was going to school, my mom would always take me out for lunch on my birthday. Mm -hmm. And that was one of my favorite memories yeah. as a kid. Yeah. I absolutely loved right. it. It was, yeah, that was the best. Because you got to like leave campus yeah. and like, yeah. go have McDonald's, it's, hang out with my mom. It's also hard too, because it's like, how does the kid want to celebrate? But when I went to the private school and started teaching there, I had a student who just like, we had one kid who was, it was not lactose. They were allergic to dairy, okay? We had another student who could not have any eggs, whether it was cooked or not, mm. okay? And then we had a third student. Those, these kids had severe allergies. I had that this year. Yes, and it's yeah. terrifying. Eggs, terrifying allergy. The third one, though, had no allergies, but would come in one day and mom's like, it's flaxseed. It's flaxseed. And if she has fla flaxseed, <laughs> and so it's just always something different. Yeah. And then like, she, like it was something like, there was something in cheese that she could have. But then like a month later, she's eating cheese that mom packed. And I was like, oh my gosh, because I thought I gave her It was a miracle. She was cured. <laughs> it's fine. And I was like, okay. Hallelujah. Listen, I have I have one of those right. too this and year. And I'm like, I'm like don't. Oh, no. So then we're doing birthday. And a child brings in these cupcakes and the parents are like, there are, um, there are no, they're eggless mm. cupcakes, this, this, and this, but there is dairy in it. I said, okay. So we're calling Bobby. Bobby 
can't have this cupcake. I knew all day, Bobby can't have this cupcake. And I start putting them out and I'm frustrated. I have cupcake here and I go to give it to Joanne, who's allergic to everything. I was like, oh, Joanne, sorry, my, actually, you can't have this. And I'm putting this up. And I gave it, it throws the cupcake to Bobby. Behind his head. <laughs> right. I give it to Bobby. <laughs> and then the kid who's ordered to, to eggs, you know, I'm, I know he can have one too. And I don't know what happened with my head. And everyone's eating. I was like, okay, good. Joanne just didn't have that. And I sit there. I'm like, oh, no. Joanne can have these. It's Bobby who can't. And Bobby Ooh. is <gasps> cupcake gone. Whipped cream Ooh. gone. No. Below out. Oh. Below out. And I was like, this is my punishment. I, and I have to call the parents yeah. and say, yeah. I know he's allergic to milk. And yeah. they're like, oh gosh. And I was like, mm, like it's not. <laughs> you were in joke. I got a 10 for Horrible. I mean, like 15 minutes maybe. I was like, I'm so, I was humiliated. And I was like, and I also ruined another kid's birthday. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so we asked some of the followers um, on Instagram that follow the podcast <laughs> to send in some of their best stories. Yeah. And one of them that I read, I thought it was hilarious. So the, here's what the story was. They were getting ready to celebrate a kid's birthday. They're an elementary teacher. And they put on the happy birthday song on the smart board, and we're going to sing along to yeah. it. And at the start of the video, it was an ad for Viagra. I would just be like, premium. Don't no. do this. Oh, <laughs> oh, man, <laughs> no, I, yeah. I would be like, I'll just see myself. Yeah. 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 Like, I would be like, <laughs> sing a cappella next yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's one of those where you just look at the principal and just say, I can explain, yeah. and like, there's really no way to truly explain that. Just say, I messed up. We're going to have a parent meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my resignation. We do that. Done. Okay, so like I, I use YouTube in class, and I don't have the premium either. So like the ads will pop up on my, on my screen, and 90% of the time, it is a Grammarly ad all the time. And so I actually, like, I get sick of having to wait to watch the video. Yeah. So I taught my kids. We sit there and we're like, boo, Grammarly, boo. And I'm like, anytime the ad pops up now, they, they boo they it. it. <laughs> like, so that actually reminds me of a story where uh, um, I did an ad for a company and they whitelisted it on YouTube. And I was showing my students a video of some, some something science related. And then my ad came up <laughs> and on the button, like just as a collective whole, all the kids started going, oh, gross, boo. Because <laughs> it was you? Because it was me. And I thought it was hilarious. I started booing with them, like, get that guy off the screen. <laughs> That was a fun But time. later you cried. Yeah. 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 Once, once they left, I cried. Hey, that's, yeah. that's very funny, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. Um, we, I got an Instagram story. Yeah, I want to hear your story. I was dying when I was reading it because I was like, I don't get it. And then I was like, that's funny. So um, a teacher was told that they were having a student, um, a new student. Yeah. And that they um, were Guatemalan and that uh, their birth, they were going to be coming right around the time of their birthday. So the teacher was like, had like two weeks and when they uh, got Guatemalan candy, um, Guatemalan um, like themed decorations and the whole classroom learned to sing in the child's native language. Ooh, wow. And the child got there and they were Korean and lived in Guam. Oh no. Not, they were not Guatemalan. Not Guatemala. They grew Guam. up and lived in Guam and they were Korean and spoke Korean. And I was like, oh, when I was reading that, I was right. like, I love the thought. Maybe next time ask the principal or who will give you the information to check <laughs> the G country it's in um, and get a little background on the child. <laughs> but A plus for like yeah, the commitment. The effort, I love the, effort, the, effort, like, yeah. Yeah. the dedication. It's very thoughtful. It was, it was very <laughs> thoughtful. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> so the story that I got sent, okay, I relate to. Okay, uh -oh. so it was a high school class and she, this, this teacher had already started their class and they were missing a few students and the students decided that they would wait until class came, like started and come in and they had a birthday cake for their friend's birthday yeah. and they had candles on it and everything they were already lit and they walk up to the friend with the birthday cake and the candles started sparking because they were sparklers um <laughs> but it Important gets better <laughs> right, yes. right, right. <laughs> it gets better so they get the cake up to near their friend and they all start singing happy birthday and the friend leans in to like blow out the candles mm -mm. and her mm -mm. extensions got caught on fire oh, no. from the sparklers <laughs> and she starts freaking out. So she flips the cake up into the air and it landed on another student. Oh no. And, 
And she, and the teacher said, she was like, needless to say, I was questioned about it. <laughs> uh, yeah. But for Steve Aoki, yeah. 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 I, I was like, oh my God, if my extensions caught on fire from a candle on my birthday cake, I would cry. Like, oh. I don't know what I would do. I'm traumatized by the fact that like I curled your hair and it's like you have to put like hairspray using an extension and stuff yeah. like that so all I can think of is just they were the, ex- the synthetic ones too so oh, yeah, those yeah, yeah, like yeah. melted the yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Back. Yeah. Like, Ooh. They, Ooh. they melt fast Ooh. I don't know how to recover from that and as a teacher I feel terrible of being like so I w- where did you get those I will buy you new ones <laughs> It Even wasn't, though it wasn't their fault. I know, yeah. I, like, it was their friend's I, fault. Who got sparkler yeah. candles? What kind of friend is that? I was bringing <laughs> fireworks to school next I'm time. <laughs> yeah, stop telling your... Don't don't get how, your friend's birthday cakes with sparklers on how them. Do you, how do your students react when it's your birthday? When it's my you birthday? Tell them? Never, because Mine it's not during school. Oh, that's true. Uh, uh, <laughs> Mine make fun of me. when I, I remember last year when I told them that I turned 24, and they just kept telling, like, they just kept roasting me, and like, oh, oh you're <laughs> officially out of your prime. Like, what does that mean? That I'm out of my prime. Years. What are the prime years? Right. I don't know. When According to them, According the, to the 30s. These kids. 13. Uh, the 30s. <laughs> I, I, it's like a running joke in my class. So, like, whenever a kid's birthday is coming up, I'm like, oh, it's your birthday, like, on Monday. What are you turning, like, 38? <laughs> and they, they're like, yeah, yeah. And they just know at this point. Yeah. Because at first when I started doing it, they'd be like, no, I'm turning 11. I'm like, right. you idiot. No. Yeah. <laughs> and, and now they get it. So they're like, mm-hmm, yeah, 38. In mm-hmm. South Dakota, you can drive once you turn 14. What? And- yeah, we got middle schoolers that who can drive. That feels unsafe. I don't know. <laughs> it's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. No, Wait, I'm without, serious. Without an adult? Uh, there has to be an adult in the car. Oh. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. there's an adult okay, in the car. Okay, hold on, hold on. There is a clear distinction between you can drive at 14 or you can have a permit yeah, at 14. Yeah, you get a permit at 14. I, st- I still don't be on the road uh, yeah, with a 14-year-old, right. yeah. but right. I just thought they were driving to middle school. Like, no, no you, that's what I thought you meant. Because, yeah. I mean, in Ohio, you can get a permit at 15. Yeah. But you can't get, or 15 and a half, I think. Yeah. But you can't get your license till you're 16. So I thought you meant oh. you had 14 year olds with a driver's license. No, you can. So when you turn 14, you get your permit. And then I think it's just like, it's not long after that, a couple months, then you can have your restricted. So you can drive without an adult. So Man, we would have. South Dakota's nuts. Seriously, we, would, we would have the older <laughs> eighth graders. No. There would be some that they could drive by themselves. What? Seriously. I don't want to see an eighth grader no. driving. Yes. No. It was no. No. It, and no. whenever, whenever they turned 14, it was always such a huge deal because they're getting ready to drive and then they'd come to class and then they talk about their their driving test. And it was always scary when they come back, but, oh, I failed my driving test. And then you're 14. Do you know how yeah. to read? <laughs> it's great. Like, Seriously. Like, oh my gosh. Yeah. And then they come back like a week or two later and they say, Oh, I finally passed my driver's test. Oh my no. God. And it was just scary knowing that these kids would be walking with like their keys in their hand. Of course, once you get your, your keys, they're all jingle jangling yeah. okay, and yeah. throwing them around. Unrelated, but also funny. So like in Ohio, when you go to take your like permit exam, yeah. you there, like there were always, I was told there are two different ones. You either get, the really easy one, which is like, what sign is this? And it's like a stop sign. Yeah, uh, yeah. Or you get the one that's like, Jim got two traffic tickets and he just got into an accident. How many points is that on his license? <laughs> and you're like, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. So I got that one. And oh, I, nice. And I failed it by one question. I did that yeah, too. I, I actually, yeah. I cried. Uh, I cried. And then I, I was like, Mom, don't tell Ryan. That's my brother. Because oh. I was like, don't. He's going to roast me. <laughs> and so we went home and studied the, the little booklet. And I went back and took it the next day. But I was just like, why did I have to get the hard one about like, points on a license right. mm-hmm. i couldn't get the stop sign one like diana did, did your students ever celebrate your birthday or do they know about your birthday even like, once again diana palooza is a big deal in the classroom <laughs> the kids, the kids oh, absolutely celebrate diana palooza they are just as hype as i am because well you know we have music and yeah. you know they usually write me little cards actually one year this was the sweetest thing they made me a little book so i was like a picture of me teaching on it and they wrote me all these little like notes. Like their own volition, they did yeah, this? Yeah, they, they just coordinated and made me a little book. It was That's super so sweet. sweet. So yeah, we I like to get them involved, but I also like, you know, I bring snacks in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. We have fun dance breaks. You know, get them really, you know, bring yeah. them into the celebration. Why not? Let's all mm-hmm. let's all party together. I think together. that's sweet. <laughs> my coworkers last year uh, knew that I didn't like celebrating my yeah. birthday. So uh, like any good coworker does, they decided just to make it like massive. And mm-hmm. I walked in. Perfect. I, 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 they're really funny. They <laughs> teach, they're funny. So they're always late to school and because they've got a bunch of kids and they're always driving them around, mm-hmm. dropping off at daycare. So I was sitting in my desk at school and then they all kind of show up 
a little bit later. And then all of a sudden they just shut my door and it's like a NASCAR pit crew outside my door. And they're putting yes. a bunch of a whole bunch of streamers oh, and stuff up. And then they open up the door and it's just this whole big song and dance. Aww. And Mariachi stuff band. And Mariachi yeah, yeah. band was there. Bottle service girls yeah, were there. Yeah, yeah. It was, was yeah. crazy. And you secretly loved it. Secretly, yeah, you did. Oh, oh, I felt loved. Yeah. I felt Aww. loved. I then told him to take it down, but at the moment, <laughs> I, I, I felt. It. I'm gonna ship you a case of like Welch's sparkling grape juice for your right. birthday. Exactly. So you can have your bottle served. Yeah, your bottle with sparklers serve. on it, and hopefully it doesn't with like light yeah. anyone's yeah. hair on fire. Yeah, you don't want to light that gel on fire. No, <laughs> flammable. His hairspray's flammable. <laughs> I think it might be time to uh, play our little game. Here. I want to play a game. Uh, so I will be reading uh, some would you rather's, and mm. then you guys give me what you would rather do. Oh, Are we? we is it one at a time? Would you? Others, or do we all have to answer uh, it? Let's let's go with everybody answer. Okay. Okay. I, I think I like okay. that. I think I like that. So the first one: Would you rather do Elf on the Shelf every day for the entire school year, or have to update your bulletin board every other week? Bulletin board. I, bulletin I, I, board. I yeah. Easy. Yeah. Uh, Elf on the Shelf. My bulletin board is a joke. You're tall. Get, it should be easy for you. But I don't have the arts and crafts. No letters required. Inside. Did you do okay. the bulletin board yourself, or did you have somebody in your life do it? Yeah, I, I was gonna yeah. say. Yeah. I, I teach with all women, and they Same would always brother. they would look at my bulletin board, and they'd be like, Gabe, that's so sad. "You got to step yeah. it yeah. up." So yeah. I, I'm sad. For I'm not on bulletin board duty. That's my my brother. Um, his wife did his bulletin boards for him too. So he's a science teacher also, mm. and he like has like scientists of the month on one, and then he had like on the other side he used to have like leopard geckos in the classroom so you had like Dee Dee and Dexter the leopard geckos and like that's cute yeah but she did it all <laughs> I've had the same bulletin board for two years <laughs> oh Gabe is it faded shelf. yeah uh, you, did, you said bulletin boards I, definitely Elf on the Shelf is personally for me traumatizing it's uh, a lot of production much. No. it's so much work so yeah. much shout I, out to I, I those parents that, that do that right right exactly. um, my brother straight up told me he's like if you do because we live my brother and I built houses directly next to each other adorable so sometimes so <laughs> no I'm kidding so he was like like, not, if you not, do, <laughs> it's my brother. If you do that elf on, elf on the shelf thing, he's like, I will tell my children that only the bad kids have to have elf on the shelf. Oh, he's like, because I'm not doing that's it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's like, not I'm not that. doing it. Mm -hmm. So if you do it, that's what I'm telling my kids. That's <laughs> it's funny. like, okay, oh, boundaries. Perfect. <laughs> okay, so we have another. Would you rather here? Would you rather have a nap room in school with a hotel bed you can use during your free period, mm. or a pet? room uh to cuddle puppies during your free period nap room puppies nap puppies room. wow Ooh, we're split. 50 50 i would, I would. Uh, uh let's uh let's do a versus real quick i uh, i would like maybe tell to abdicate for well, you said puppies right yeah because yeah. let me tell you something uh -oh. they never said that you couldn't nap in the puppy room, <gasps> but you can't puppy in That's the nap it. room. That's wow. why I went there. Oh, and who Fox doesn't want to nap with a little puppy? Well, that argument's over. Snuggle yeah. puppy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> a snuggle, a snuggle puppy. Well, no. Snuggle nap. A snuggle nap. Shut up. Yeah. A snuggle, a snuggle, a <laughs> snuggle Gabe just nap got moment. a new nickname, snuggle puppy. A snuggle puppy. <laughs> I'll let Annie know. <laughs> perfect. Yeah, Gabe knows how much I love pet names, so that's yeah. perfect. Yeah. Uh, well, pet names. Uh, anywho, uh, would you rather have a staff room with an all hot cocoa machine mm -hmm. oh. or a staff room that <laughs> always has warm freshly baked cookies ooh cocoa or cookies cocoa I'm or cookies. cookies cocoa i'm taking oh, cocoa i'm taking cookies taking for cookies. sure it's cookies. always hot in la i don't need hot cocoa it's not in yeah. ohio <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's, it's, never, it's cookies never hot for me. yeah, yeah. Cookies. fresh baked like gooey on the inside crispy on the outside ooh. with a yeah. scoop of ice cream wait honey what type what type of cookies the good ones. Good ones. Oatmeal raisin. Ooh, oatmeal, oatmeal raisin. Is a raisin. Oh, yeah. oatmeal. No, but I'm saying that's what type of cookie you guys oh. get. <laughs> <laughs> no, I no hot cocoa. All right, I'm, gl I'm glad we've got that settled. Yeah, yeah, that one was. Yeah, no, that one's pretty. pretty uh, clear right there. This next one is: Would you rather have no heat in your classroom in the winter or no AC in the summer? Oh boy, no uh, heat. No heat in the winter, easy. I no go heat. with I'd go with no AC because we're only listen. My school we go from like. August 20th is the first day for kids. Like August 20th to May 26th. Pretty cool. So like right. the majority of our school year is like August, September is warm, mm. but the rest is cold, cold. to 
spring temperatures. But see, in LA, like it's warm, and my middle schoolers are learning. They haven't learned yet about body odor. Neither did And uh, it's getting hot. I Imagine agree. smelling like little billy goats, and yeah. you're in there. Little billy goats. Yeah. <laughs> roasting. No. See, I I'd rather I can't do it. Uh, not have heat in winter mm. because, like, the summers in South Dakota are really hot. But and you're. In South Dakota. But but I could put a, a coat on. And also, right. yes. I want to say True. face where if at the beginning of the year, I'm sweating through my shirt, my yeah. pants. Yeah. Yeah. You, there's no coming back from that. I don't, you're, you're okay. done. I don't sweat that much. I oh, I can. I, but I, I hate being cold. For instance, like the house we're staying at was so cold last night. And I was already in bed and didn't want to go find a blanket. So I literally grabbed the towels on my bed and <laughs> laid them across oh. me like they were a blanket. Well, I, and I, I shivered. Sad for you. I know. I'm so bad cold. With the towel over miserable. You. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, she told yeah. me about it. I said, um, did you check the closet for extra no, blankets? I, like, I did not. Or turn the thermostat up. <laughs> I think I agree. Like you can put the coats on, yeah. right? Yeah. But, like, the right, and the jackets. You can you can bundle up. But you can't like if it if you're if you're already in a t shirt and shorts for school like yeah. I, I am not one of those like glistening people it's drenched <laughs> it's like it's not a cute moment for That's anyone mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't bundle down and all keep right the I'm job. the only yeah. one then yeah. <laughs> all right let's do a couple more of these okay. things and while we're on the topic of temperature huh? would you rather be able to control the temperature of your classroom with a thermostat app on your phone? Or be able to control the volume of your students with an app on your phone. Ooh, students. Student students. Students. Sure. Yeah, that students. one was That's yeah. unanimous. I feel like my kids aren't noisy enough. I would actually like more. You want some of mine? You want a trait? Yeah, 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 a little, yeah, little trait trait. <laughs> like, I'm subbing now. Maybe I should come sub. Yeah. Because yeah. I would like to down. turn. I would like to turn them up. Like, I like an active They're too classroom. quiet. When yeah. I want them to, like, turn, I want them to turn up. Uh, turn up. They, <laughs> when I want them to be loud and, like, participate, they won't. But when I don't want them right, to, then right, they will. Exactly. Yeah, they're, they're dyslexic when it comes to that. They're, they're dyslexic when it comes to that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh my god! You love their voices. They're dyslexic. <laughs> that was like funny. I don't know, man. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's do uh, let's do one more here, and then we'll we'll call her quits. Would you rather teach all day with cold, wet socks? Oh, oh done that. Okay, Not getting... fun. Or pee your pants a little bit every time you sneeze. <laughs> every time you what? Sneeze. Sneeze. I feel like okay, that is some I people's feel reality. like some people do. It. I'm, not some people any do name. That. I'm not naming yeah. any names. I'm not naming any names. But do that. listen, some individuals already do that. Yeah. yeah. Because so it's nothing then if if women women's bodies know, or think, you know yeah, that's not, like uterus I, owning individuals yeah that already happens but to like you sometimes <laughs> like your wet socks that's uncomfortable for you but if you're like peeing a wee bit uh, no yeah. pun intended like that's a problem for everybody like yeah. everyone is <laughs> smelling the everyone has to deal with that yeah. 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 Well, that I, here's 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 my thing I <laughs> that that joke just hit me a right wee bit. <laughs> a wee bit a wee bit I have disgusting smelling feet and I don't know what it is like. I can get, I ha these are new shoes and new socks. And when I took them, like I, I have all new socks for this trip. I take them off and they're immediately like not, like they're not yellow new anymore and gross. They're used. I don't know what's wrong. So I feel like if I had wet socks on me all day. Oh, funkification. Wait, Justin, okay, but. You have pneumonia. But. Yes. <laughs> like, <laughs> wait, good point. What if, actually, actually, what, yeah. Well, yeah, that's true. But what if, okay, what if they were like cold, wet socks? Oh. And, but they stopped you from getting that, like this, the Smell. stinky and you oh, would just would get then. you'd have frozy chosies but like you I would I would do it if it stopped the stink if it but if I knew it was gonna stink I don't know that's like a, mm. if it would yeah. stop the stink you'd pick the socks yes yeah. oh, oh, okay. 100%. listen yeah. we all grew up in states where there was snow yes. yeah mm -hmm. oh, for and we all sure. know what it's like to get your sneakers yeah. completely uh, soaked I, and your I, socks I, I would pick Ugh. to pee my pants a little bit because I wow. really, I cannot like okay do you know when someone gets ice out of the fridge and then they, oh. one ice cube falls on the floor and they don't pick it up. Mm, and then they're on it. That's and then yeah. it melts on the ground. Mm -hmm. And then you're just like, you know, minding your own dang business, walking through the kitchen and you step in a puddle. With your sock. It's not and okay. And it ruins your freshly clean, warm, toesy socks. I can't do that. No, it ruins Literally your socks. It ruins my day. Yeah. I it ruins so my day. It ruins my day. I'm angry. Yeah. I'm yes. like, I Irrational. cannot believe the world is crumbling around yeah. me. Yeah, nah, I don't like that. This, <laughs> yeah, this is the worst is thing that could ever possibly happen. <laughs> yes. I don't like it. No. All right. So I lied. We're going to do one more. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to end on that one. Uh, so <laughs> You don't want to end on peeing your pants? I don't want to end on peeing my pants. While peeing your pants is very cool. Right. Miles Davis did it. Anywho, would you rather do outdoor recess duty in South Dakota in the winter with Sandals, hey. oh, sandals or outdoor recess in the summer in Florida with a winter jacket. Oh, this is sandals. I'd rather be cold than yeah. hot. 
Yeah. You can warm yourself up, but you can't. Yeah. Like, Not this, in South Dakota. South Dakota, you know. Oh, but you in, betcha. Oh, you betcha, huh? <laughs> but once you sweat through a shirt, which I've done in while teaching, there's no going back from that. No, like no. It's, it's a tough one. They, okay. they will drag you for the rest of the yeah, year. Yeah, you're a sweaty teacher. Here's for what you can do. Why don't you just get another shirt and then change when you get inside? Bam. Because here's my here's here's the gag. How cold does it get in South Dakota? Gabe has never cold. thought of this before. So you're gonna, go outside, for a thir- <laughs> you're gonna go outside for thirty whole minutes. You guys get thirty minutes negative, of recess. Yeah, and negative. Well, because we're babies. We're babies. <laughs> Do you mean 30 minutes? minutes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll do 20. 20 minutes and negative 40 degree weather and you don't think that your little piggies are going to fall off? They won't fall off, but they'll also become numb. You only feel it for probably the first six minutes and Ooh, then it's your toe. Like, okay. I can't even notice. That's why you, you got 10 toes. You, you can lose, lose a couple. You can lose those toesies. Yeah. You don't need a pinky toe. I mean, you can you live you with that phantom limb syndrome, you know? I'm going with Florida. You're going with Florida? I'm going to pick Florida. I'd rather be hot than cold. Oh, wow. Yeah, I would rather have my toes. I'd rather keep well, my I'm toes. I'm really thinking. I think I would. Ra- I think I'd rather bring. A, how how heavy a coat? Are we talking like our goose feathers? Goose feather, like they have great parka. floor length parka, like Minnesota. Yeah. Floor length, length yeah. Is it twenty yeah. minute recess or thirty minute? Gabe, recess? describe your winter coat, please. Yeah. Uh, it's actually like well, my he's just um, go ahead. I, I got a cool <laughs> Eddie Bauer parka, and it's this maroon color with little fur on the back. Oh, maroon. Oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah, I would do the. I would and, do the socks. <laughs> <laughs> And it's funny, my, my uh, coworker, Mrs. Reynoldson, shout out, uh, she's got like the same looking coat. And whenever I wear the coat, the kid's like, oh, you got Miss Reynoldson's coat on. Yeah. And they always make fun of me for this it. It's my feelings. Yeah, it's Sister. that coat. <laughs> <laughs> it's that one. I also have a burgundy coat. Oh my, a it's burgundy a winter coat with the fur. Okay, well, first, okay. Tell okay. burgundy coat shopping. Because we're out of it. I have a yeah. black one, but like, I'm saying like my. Oh, we have a burgundy. The one that I wear like outside when yeah. I'm in the snow is like a long burgundy with fur. Oh. And that's what you'd be in in Florida, roasting. I'm going to take that okay. than losing my toes. I'd rather be <laughs> out your, your face will match the coat because you'll be just like drenched in sweat. Drenched, yeah. Dripping like a snow cone in Phoenix. I'll be okay. <laughs> no, ma'am. <laughs> Listen, I could do a bathroom quick, like. Quick change. Shower, quick change. And you've oh, already yeah. peed on yourself, so you got to take care of that, too. So at least you're <laughs> sterile. You my, day, my day can't get any worse. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, I think that's a good place to end. It's great. So, thank you guys so much for checking out the podcast. Thank you so much to Deanna for joining us. It was so much fun. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Peace.